It is drip marketing time. It's early morning. I believe it came out a couple hours ago. Um, I totally forgot it was coming out today, actually, but today is Monday. So let's go ahead and see what we get for 4.1. We got Cleese Performance by <laughs> Elon Musk. There he is. So we got Rio Thesley. Or is that his name? Sorry, I might be mispronouncing that. Rio Thesley? Rio Thesley? Says Navia, do you remember when I refused the title of Baron bestowed upon me by the uh, palace, the Peleus uh, Marmonia, a few years back? That's besides the point. Today I finally met the administrator of the fortress of Miropide. So I think Yanfei mentioned that, or maybe I could, be, I could be wrong. I'd always assumed that Duke was simply a hollow title too, but it turns out that Riothusli is far more worldly than he looks. Hmm. Oh, so who's saying this? Callus, former president of the Spina de Rizolia, or Rizola, Rizula. So that I think that is like the organization that uh, Navia runs, because yeah, it starts with Navia. So, so Rio Thesley, uh, emissary of a solitary inquity, or inquity. Hmm. I just want to say solitary confinement for a second there. Lord of the Fortress of Miripide. Cryovision, Cerberus, yeah, like a wolf, because I think he had like a little wolf symbol on his hand. Yep. So interesting, man. I wish they would say the the, the name of his uh his weapon. Like I really wish I like, they could just say it. So Cryo, and it looks like yeah, it looks like he works with Navia, but it was so weird to see them like under the the sewer like that in the trailer. Like they were like up to something, you know, up to no good. Uh oh, is this new? Okay, here we go. So we got if Rio Thessaly needed a, a name card, this would suffice. No forward, no forward, no epilogue. Just like that place with exiled convicts, he's in charge of standing there silently at the bottom of the sea. Okay, well there you go. Despite its uh decretion, uh as a resting place for criminals. Oh, I see. The Fortress of Miripide harbors a network of conflicting interests that would have corrupting influence on many. But even if someone was bent on infiltrating this place, they'd soon be swallowed up by breadcrumbs and a bowl of soup. Somehow I have lauded his grace uh, aptitude for taking care of thorny problems. Hearing such praise, Rathlessly would simply lower his teacup <laughs> and pick up his newspaper. Yep, and that's what he did. He had the wrong end of the stick. They just wanted somewhere to lead well-ordered lives, and I gave them the tranquility they re they require. So yeah, so it seems like some kind of like security guard or someone like who's in charge of, like I said, a solitary uh, inequity. So yeah, you know, deals with the people and the criminals. Uh, you know, not under the water, but like down, like down a level, basically. Criminals, resting place for criminals. I mean, it looks like he would be, you know, like he's like the, you know, the one to look over, make sure everything's all good. Yeah, it looks good. He looks, he looks a little bit more, I don't know if that's just like a mark or something, but it makes it look like he's like really tired. I mean, it makes sense for like his job, I guess. But yeah, Riothusly. Oh, we get, wow. Oh, you know what? That's true. We usually get like two new characters, but yeah, so we get Nuvalet and Rio Thessaly. Nuvalet, title, uh, ordainer of inexorable judgment. Index of Fontaine. Why is it? Oh, I thought they like didn't finish it or something. Question mark. So I guess he has no vision, but he just has like hydro. That's his element, and no constellation either. Hmm. No constellation, huh? Yeah, so I, I'm guessing he's like a Vishap or something. Like, he has, he has to be like either a Vishap or. Because that's weird. No vision. Yeah, it looks good too, man. He's going to be like probably the kind of like uptight one, I imagine. Uh, given that our previous behind the scenes editorial on a Hydro Archon earned us the honorable uh, epithet, epithet of tabloid journalism. From our dear Monsieur Nouvellet, this time we'll be focusing on the mysterious Ludix himself. 
We know a little in tune, or a little indeed of his true character, and sadly a multiple request for an interview were all turned down. Instead, we have decided to reach out and draw upon the wisdom of the masses in the pursuit of the truth, all anonymous submissions and attestations of manifestly questionable veracity, good grief, have been filtered out. We were rather intrigued, however, but the following written, the following letter written in particularly adorable script. Gosh, we're looking at this red like, <laughs> I don't even know. At the Dark Knight Hero, Batman really does not exist. He's probably just some someone in disguise. When he gets up in the morning to brush his teeth, he's the real him. Only the dead of the night does he become the Dark Knight hero, but not Monsieur Nouvellet. The Chief Justice is the real him. For us Mussolines, oh, I see. Our ideal of the perfect father, that's also the real him. Huh. The only person that isn't really him is the one that goes by the name of Nouvellet. Huh? From this, uh, we can safely surmise that Nouvellet must be the only male Mussolini. Is that what he is? Granted, the Mussolini's actually appeared much later than Nouvellet took up or took up his post. But in the face of such ironclad evidence, there's bound to be some way of explaining this. Seven Nations Gazette, a notorious tabloid. Hmm. Okay. Well, now it's even more intriguing. I don't. I don't think so. But that's kind of how they were like making it out to be. Hmm. I don't think so. But uh, you know, listen. We we have no idea. But yeah, it looks good. Um, it kind of has the same same kind of pose as we saw him in in the video. They both look very like hench, you know, like very, you know, he like he does his job and you know he's like passionate about it, or maybe not. Maybe he doesn't feel like doing it. I can't tell. And then yeah, I can't really catch a gauge for Nouvellet, honestly. I'm not really sure how to like you know get his character just yet, but we'll see. So this, so this is 4.1. So 4.1 is already stacked. Riotha Slee and Nouvellet. And I believe we also got, yeah, we also have the banners as well. So we got, ooh, oh, you know, that's, yeah, that's actually pretty good. Um, Barbara, maybe aside from Barbara, but <laughs> Bennett's great. And then of course, Lynette being the new character and the new four star with Lenny. And also Yalon being, that's a great first person to pick up. Like if you're playing in 4.0 for the first time, but and then, and then, oh yeah, the four stars are stacked on this. Sacrificial Sword, Sacrificial Bow, Fav Lance, Sacrificial Fragments, and then Fav Great Sword. With two, like, great bows. Like, honestly, either one of these can work on Lenny. Obviously, his own one in the Aqua Simulacra. But, eh, I don't know about Lenny's bow and anybody else. I'm not sure of that just yet, but, yeah, I mean, great banners. Unfortunately, I don't think I'll be wishing on them myself because I just I kind of just want to save for the future characters or like the Archon, but yeah, so the Archon quest, story quest for Lenny, and uh, yeah, brace yourself for that update because it's going to be about like 30 something gigs probably, so yeah, that's going to be pretty huge, but yeah, I'm excited, Fontaine is in I think one day from now, technically, that'll be at the end of the day tomorrow. So I'm excited. Uh, 4.1, Rio Festly, Nouvellet. And then after that, we'll be the Archon. So wish you guys the best of luck on your polls or just in general. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys in the next one.